Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 87. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. Introduce yourself to the audience. Jose Marco, Juice Man. You know how it is. What the fuck going on? This is my guy right here. We about 20, 25 years in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Definitely right, more than like, 20. 20 years ago. Sure. Like we that old. 20 years ago wasn't that long ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that long. Real right, but yeah. we been locked in for a long time. We got at least like 25 in, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shouts out to my yeah. guy. Finally got him on here. <laughs> um, yeah, man, long time. All right. E Block Radio Network every Monday on the E Block Radio Network at 2 o'clock. GFT Radio Network every Tuesday, 2 o'clock. Wednesday is 216 to blend, 12 a.m. Then it's uh, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. My bad. They love me so much. I can't keep all the times together over there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thursday, WTNUPhilly.com, 1230 every Thursday. Sad. Fuck it. Friday. I say podcast radio network. Slow down, Hype. 10 a.m. Every, every Friday. Then Saturday, THC Media at 10 a.m. Sunday, still wide open, trying to lock something in. What's up, West Coast? Um, Custom Hustle World on Instagram. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Custom Jackets, jerseys, T-shirts, sweatsuits. You name it, we can customize it. Jackets, you design on your own. Jerseys, you pick your own names, numbers, colors, and all of that love. Sweatsuits, you can get your own logo and all of that done up. It's going to cost you a little extra, but we can definitely do it. Um... And H2H Cleaning, that is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. It's a tri-state area situation, but if you make it worth my while, I will slide. Roofing, plumbing, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, carpeting, flooring, all of that love. That is that's at it. H2H Cleaning. <laughs> on that tip, yeah. Right. Now, episode 87, Jose Blanco. Yes, sir, Steve. Topic of the day is how are you changing? Shit. I'm just getting better at like with all this shit for for I feel like I'm just learning how to strategize better, plan this shit better, like everything I got going on, like gotta learn how to manage emotion and shit. Like so I just talk feel like to I'm him, tell them, talk to them and let the audience know this is international hype. This is going around the world, not just the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we talk everywhere with this shit. Know, like you what is it that you're doing? How are you getting better? What are the pitfalls and the things and shit that you fucked up on and now you're getting better in the things that's making you change? Walk us through that whole situation. Uh well, just like being more confident in the shit that I got going on, you feel me? Like like the music and all that and my art and shit, like how I push it together. Like I used to feel some type of way when people would like gravitate to it a lot of the time. So now it was just more like I just do what I want, like I do my own thing, like you either gonna fuck with it or you don't like. So it's just getting better with like networking and like being more confident with this shit, like staying more open to like ideas and all that, opinions. So you would say the way that you're changing is just becoming more confident in your own situation. Yeah, in my own brand, like just building my own, like everything, like making this shit solid over here so I can really deal with how, how people gonna come at me. Cause you know, everything ain't gonna be positive. Like niggas gonna be negative about some shit. So. All right, so before I get into my answer, you got to always understand that everything ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And especially if you're dealing in art, it's subjective. And any kind of art, we talking architecture, we talking music, we talking just some graffiti on the fucking wall. All that shit is subjective. When somebody hears a song and it's like, damn, this is exactly what's going on in my life. It's going to be the best shit in the world to them. If right. this nigga who ain't never been through this type of situation and can't relate to it, it ain't going to be hot to him. Yeah, he ain't going to understand it. it. Right, exactly. So, this kind of goes back to last week's episode with my daughter where um, we talking about the judgments and opinions of other people. You can't, everybody's going to judge and make have their own opinions and that's cool. That's the thing people get caught up in always like only God can judge me. No, everybody judges you every day. They look at you and every make day. a judgment no, and assess you. And what you can't do though is let somebody else's opinion fuck up the way you want to run your shit. How you move, I can't right? let yeah, somebody can say, damn, how you make the episodes too short? I want them joints to be a little bit longer. Copy. That's how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Right, I, could take that into a, I could take that into account and give you a longer episode. I can give you a shorter one. But right. you can't always just try to run with the opinion of one or two to exactly. fuck up the way you want it. Because the whole exactly. thing about this shit, I always tell people, this was back to the How to Hustle seminars. They still can be purchased. Just DM me at I am hype, but we can still make that happen. Five-part series. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> that too. Yeah. Hey, no doubt. You know, always plugging and promoting, baby. This is prof- professional work over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Paid talent is in my bio. Big you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't always though like readjust all your shit because somebody has an opinion. Everybody yeah, yeah. has an opinion. Yeah. If you like the shit that you're doing, though, it's all about if you like the shit. You gotta stick to that shit because that's that's coming that from world, you, like. And the way that the world is set up now, it's three niggas in Houston that's thinking exactly how you thinking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's 12 niggas exactly. in Arkansas who can't wait for this shit. Yeah, Shout exactly. out to the Bruz. Shout out to the Bruz podcast. The Bruz mm-hmm. asked me for some niggas with some music and I sent them your shit and they said, yo, how the fuck ain't this boy son? Yeah, like, you know yeah, I fuck with them. They be tapping into shout out to the Bloomberg, man. But just that easy, like you know what I'm saying, you could be doing this shit for years and think, man, ain't nobody feeling the way that I'm doing this shit. But now nah, if you tapping in, getting in with the right niggas, like you said, you networking and you moving, that's how you become mm-hmm. one. That's how you start to exactly. change. You start to realize it ain't a local situation though. It's, it's bigger, that's yeah, my shit way is, bigger than that. My nigga, my shit is international hype, it's not local hype. Really? <laughs> Shout out to Kenya, you know what I'm saying? Ghana, all my homies that tap in from over there. Yeah, fuck with y'all. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, copy that. Shout out to London. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we <laughs> had, I told you this shit international. You feel me? You saying, nigga? And we, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we straight from the P with this shit. Yeah. Yeah, ain't no doubt. 23rd Street, baby. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> know the vibe. Big 2200. Shit, we international. Um, But yeah, like, uh, for me, the changes in me is just... It's kind of getting, it's kind of like it's getting more of what I already been. Uh, it's just like, it's like a, the wrestling persona where they just say like, that was always Stone Cold. He just came out and put it on steroids. Like, mm-hmm, right. this was always, hustle, hustle a thousand percent was always me. It just wasn't, let's go stand on the corner with some shit. You feel me? Yeah. As as my, me. Whole, my whole environment was always, yeah, cuz getting a couple of dollars, but we all still live here. Mm-hmm. If Cuz sure, bought sure. a house anywhere, I would have jumped in with both feet. And see, mm-hmm. me, I'm an extremist. I'm doing too much. We go from jerseys to jackets to sweatsuits to t-shirts to I can even do your shit now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, sure. I can't just have one lane. We go from just clean outs to doing cleanups, carpeting, flooring, roofing, because it's too many different things that need to be filled. And for me, it's like, man, if niggas got the Money over there, and it's in that lane. All right, well, cleaning ain't jerseys in two weeks, but it cleared three houses to go knock down. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's yeah. always different ways to get at it. So I would say, like, the way that I'm changing is just like it's kind of just getting them steroids. It's just more harder at it. And that kind of yeah, happens just from, it up. yeah, it's kind of just like, you know, wife, kids, real life going on. You got to find a way to make a way. You know saying you exactly. start to get older and you start to say, man, I got some shit that I want to be able to relax when I hit this age, certain age and stage. Age. So that's what and I'm gonna run these wheels down right now so that I can relax and put this bitch on cruise control. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on Tesla mode, you feel me? Like I'm just gonna yeah. the passenger. I'm saying I might not even want to be the passenger, I might play the backseat. The back seat, <laughs> oh, I feel you. With the curtain closed, I see what's taking. Yeah, it's like my yeah. my daughter just said this again, touching back on the same episode from last week. She like she, the thing that she hates that I do is I'm always on the phone. I told her like me being on the phone is me still working though. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back seat curtain, point. I can still be working back here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're making moves. That's that's all about the motion though. That's when you when you really could just play the phone. That's when you know you have emotion. Like you feel me? Like like you could you put the groundwork in enough. To where though you could just play the phone like hey, copy that. Tell me this now. Where how would you say that the music is changing for you over the course of the years? How long have you been doing the music? First of all, let the audience know that. And how would you say the change has come in the music for you? Uh I've been doing music for like at least like 10 plus. I don't know. I feel like all my I feel like all my life. I always was just like musically doing some shit like with music. So I've been doing music for all my life, for real, but um, the shit changing because it's just more people gravitating to me. Like I'm getting more like attention with this shit. Like everybody is like tuning in. Like they'll stop me in the streets or they'll just say a line from one of my bars or like one of my songs and shit. And this shit does like crazy. So it's, like, I'm getting way more like 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 I said earlier, like global attention and shit. So it's just dealing with that shit. Like everybody just know the shit gonna happen for me. Just when it's gonna happen. Like I just gotta meet that. Right person or that right connect, and then she just gonna take oh niggas know so. So this is not. Nice. This is what I'm saying though too. So you don't think in the you said you've been doing music your whole life though. 
So it had to be some point where you feel like my sound changed. Like I started to mature a little bit on these Yeah, like, like I feel like we get? that's why I said, all right, so when did we hit that? When did we hit that? Between um, which project? Or even if it wasn't between think, this project and that project. I think when it when it when it like started going, when I started maturing with this shit, I think I dropped uh Miami volume two. It was no, it was volume three. It was one of the, it was volume three, yeah. So that's when everybody in the neighborhood would be like, damn, Joe really could really rap, right? Like mm -hmm. he was some shit. So it's like once they started taking me serious with that, I just kept getting better because I just stayed in the studio. So it, every time I get in the studio, it seemed like I just get better with this shit. So it's I just changing. All right. So tell me this now. What you what kind of beats do you think would be best for you? You a slow, you a slow track murderer on the spade type time. You're a fast beat boy. What type of time? What's your lane? Or would you say you just multifaceted? Like I, I be in every lane for for like I try my uh, my hand in every lane. Like I do R and B shit. I got melodies in the trenches, deluxe, the mixtape out right now and shit. Uh, oh, I do. Don't, gl don't gloss over that. Let's let's go. You know what I'm saying? Where can they find that and all of that? That's you know on Apple Music everywhere. That's on all the platforms. You know what I'm saying? I That's just showed everywhere. you how them plugs don't be cheap. You yeah, understand? Yeah, them plugs are right, expensive, feel... baby. <laughs> so yeah, melodies in the trenches, deluxe, Apple Music, Spotify, title. That's that, that's everywhere. Uh, shout out to the members that's on the tape. Yeah, that's everywhere, all, all streaming platforms. But I, I do R&B shit. Um, I got Bad Decisions out right now. I just dropped a whole new tape. That's on all streaming platforms. Uh, uh, I just, I don't know. I stay like, whatever whatever beat catch my attention. Like, I just really go off the vibe of it. So if it's an up-tempo at that time, and I feel like, yeah, I'm about to snap on this drum, that's just how I go. Or if it's like on some singing shit, or I'm going through something, or I might have seen somebody going through something with their girl or something. I might make a song like that. Like it just, I just go how the vibe is. And I lined you right up for this one. What's your favorite? What's your favorite two songs from you? My favorite two songs from me? Yeah. I uh, lined you right up for this one because it's like, all right, what type of joints do you like? All right, I like them all back. So what's your favorite? My favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Line me right up. All right. Uh, Pay talent, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, out of hustle live shows coming back next year in uh, March. On that tip. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, we on. Uh, I think my favorite song. That's, that's hard, but I got a lot of songs. Um, I think my favorite song would probably be Lonely, like off her famous my mixtape I dropped in like 2020. Like Lonely might be my favorite song because I ain't gonna lie. When I were, like when I was making that shit, like I shed a tear and shit. So that's when I was like, no, nah, this joint really might be one of them. Like songs, like people like really fuck with it, and like everybody gravitates to that dream. So it's like lonely, and that's the number one streaming song on my like account. When you see that shit, that's the first one you gonna see. Lonely. Uh, Give me one more favorite song for me. Uh, I like. Damn, that's hard, bro. I, I really don't. So many even, songs. I mean, even though it is kind of a hard question because it's all your shit, so obviously you like it because it's yours. But yeah, but I'm trying same, to think like in that like same what? vein, whenever you do anything, you like nah, like you just said, this joint touched me to the point where I'm crying on my own joint. Like, damn, yeah, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? So you gotta have some joints is like, man, the first time I heard that beat, the words came straight out just because you know what I'm saying it was on that tip. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh I think all right, well then. Cause see, I don't want to cheat the other songs. The other songs is crazy too. Like, but I just go with like something I got recently, like Have Nuts. Like that, I like how I just that beat is 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 up tempo. It's crazy, and I just catch it and I just bounce on it. Like, you feel me? Like I just bounce all over the beat. It's it's crazy. I like how I catch the flow on that jump. All right, so now tell me, you got give me three for this one. Three people you gotta three people you feel like you gotta work with. Uh three people I feel like I gotta work with. I feel like I gotta work with Hov, because that's just he one of my biggest inspirations in life and music. Period. I feel like I gotta work with Hov. I wanna work with uh Tierra Wet. I like how she created. I like how she like view shit. And um I don't know like who else. Uh, 
Come on, I don't man. know. Uh, <laughs> Just give, you gotta give me what? somebody. Uh. It could be one of your homies. You could throw somebody out there, you know what I'm saying, just to shine a little light on them. Tell niggas, though, if we shot them out, we expect five yeah, stars on podcast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, on that <laughs> tip. Always, I always want to work with the members. Shout out to PF Gang, you feel me? I always want to work with them, but uh, I don't know, like, shit, I, I just do a song with uh, Kendrick. I, I do a song with Kendrick. All right, copy that. Like somebody Kendrick. come out to one of your shows, what should they expect? High energy, it's gonna be lit. It, it, it's gonna be a lot of pretty women in the crowd. They're gonna see me go crazy. Like it, it's gonna be a lot of good vibes. No, like no bullshit. You opening the show with what song? So that you spark. So you said like this is up tempo type joints, high energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying you want to get them moving. What you opening the show with? Then? Two, two, three for sure. Shout out to the neighborhood. Okay. Okay, yeah, cause you got it. you got to make sure you know what I'm saying you come off and get them instantly. You know instantly, I'm, I'm I'm coming right out, and and if you heard two two three, you know what tip is on. So that shit is gonna go crazy. No matter how, what time you hear, it, any time of the morning, any time of the day you hear, it, it's gonna go crazy. This is something new. I'm about to start throwing at people, and you're gonna be the first one to get it. Because this is why I always it's one of them things where you can never you can never really know what people think about you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you hear Hank, what do you think of? My guy. My my boy since like 20, 25, like you said, like we really used to walk to school and shit together. They get like we really like tied in. Like yeah. and, snowstorms and, yeah, all that. And, yeah. All that shit. Like you feel me? So <laughs> like and like no, like I think a hype, like you really a hustling ass nigga, bro. Like no bad. You always been like that though. Hey, Copy that's that. just fact. That's one of them things where, like, uh, I hate niggas don't never want to give you your flowers type drawing. Right. Uh, niggas, will, niggas will see you doing something and love it and never just tell you that they do. You know right. what I'm saying? This is why niggas like me, when you do something and I always will hit you and say, this is what I think about it. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's good, sometimes it's bad, but you know that I ain't telling you, even if I'm telling you something bad, I ain't telling you from a place of, like, what the fuck is you doing? I'm telling you because I want to see you grow. I want to see you win. And I remember I hit you about one joint and you said, bro, thank you. You said, Mm -hmm. how can't tell you how many niggas told me that they listened to that shit and didn't give me no feedback at all. They didn't tell me what they really thought about it at all. They just know that joint was hot. And then when niggas hit you with that, bro, they're not listening. They're not uh, dissecting. They could have played it. They got you to stream, but they ain't listening. Playing it and listening is two different things. It's two different things. Yeah. If you can't give me, like, when you said this line about, the, you know what I'm saying, if they can't break down something, if something didn't hit them, then, like, mm-hmm. did you really listen? Did you hear it? Right, right, right. <laughs> saying, yeah. Bro, or maybe, yeah. like I said in the beginning, it started off with everything ain't for everybody. So, mm-hmm. like, I didn't do even media calls where, like, playing songs for us and shit from this artist, and I just, from the rip, this joint is on some dancing ass type time, yo, this ain't my lane. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I can hear this song and see it on a TikTok video and all of that, but like for me, this is never going in my phone. Right. You know right. I like, no, I feel you. Right. I, yeah, and some niggas would be scared to tell certain people that about certain shit, but it's like, yeah, ain't nobody batting a thousand with you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Unless they kiss. Yeah, sure. I don't know about the wet kiss drinks. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I can agree with that. I agree with that for sure. But, um, but yeah, like... um. You never know, like like I said, when niggas really be thinking about you and how mm-hmm. niggas will really be wanting to see you win and wanting to see you move. You see, every time I get yeah. anything popping on the music side, I say, yo, look, tell them I'm sent you and you know what I'm saying it's a go. Right, right. <laughs> Always pass me to play, bro. Real shit. That's yeah, fake. no doubt. And then I can send yeah. you the receipts to the screenshot of, oh, yeah, here they're fake. playing it right now. You know what I'm no <laughs> bet. No bet. All facts. And it's like, no cat. But um, now... Deep. One last thing on the whole changing situation. Uh, for mm-hmm. me, like I said, I'm the change is really just kind of like you get older and your, your goals and your shit just your vision get a little different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially once you start to see like, man, how many niggas that you grew up with or you went to school with, especially now, like you'd be like, damn, we just was in, like we just was down such and such together. And now that, crazy, that nigga ain't here no more. Like I look at my wedding crazy. pictures. I got married six years ago, bro. Three of my groomsmen is gone. Like crazy. You see what I'm saying? None of the street and the crazy thing is it's none of the street niggas. You know what I'm saying? 
It's, it don't gotta be no more though. That's the even crazy yeah. part about it. Yeah, that's shit is down just to sad. five Charlies. You know what I'm saying? Rap, whoever, like real rap, man. That shit nutty. So that shit definitely down this, this one last thing inside the whole change concept of the episode. What do you feel like success will be for you? When I reach this goal, because we all got, we should. I ain't going to say we all do. Mm. Just because we should do shit. Don't mean we all do shit. Um, you got like those tent poles where I got to hit this. And then if I hit this, I hit this, I hit this, I hit this. And now I've reached the level of success. Mm. What is reaching success for you? Uh, Just making sure everybody that I love, like all my loved ones, and everybody I care about is cool. Like they can live comfortable. And I know that sounds crazy because it's really kind of no way to live comfortable for real with all the shit going on. But it's like to where though they don't gotta worry about too much. Like you feel me? Like when they could put their feet up and chill, then I'll be I'll be cool. Like my whole team, right? Shout out to team right. I just dropped that too on our streaming platform. But yeah. Spencer when they, Flags, everybody baby. cool. Everybody <laughs> cool. Yeah. When everybody cool, then I'll be cool. Like until then. I'm my head is straight. I'm my head down. I'm working. This is the one of the thing about the change situation. Is once you start to hit these different things, like you said, you set the small goals for yourself and you can hit these joints. You go ahead to realize everybody can't go. You go ahead to realize no. that everybody ain't, everybody's not going to see the vision. That's fact. Like, sometimes you be having to tell niggas like, yo, look, bro, I'm trying to tell you, like, we can't mm-hmm. do that. This ain't that type of situation. And right. some niggas can't get it out. Some niggas can't. This is one thing I always used to say, man. Some niggas can't see past Over Street. You know what I'm saying? No, real shit. And real shit. that don't mean that I love right. you no less, but I, you can't go. You know what I'm saying? What Nip say? What Nip, Nipsey Hussle said? Circle got smaller. Everybody, smaller, can't, everybody go. can't go. Yeah. They can't go. And that's fact. And I mean, Shout out to Nip, man. Yeah. This, man, to- man rest in, definitely rest in peace, Nip. But it's one of those yeah. things where you can't also, at the same time, let nobody use your own loyalty against you. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas Cause, will definitely you could be loyal to, to a fault. You feel me? You could be loyal to the wrong shit. It's not even loyal right. to a fault. You're loyal to the wrong shit. Mm-hmm. Like once you have, like I said, man, wife, kids, all that changes everything for me. Like mm-hmm. this is a no fly zone. This is a do not play zone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fact. And mm-hmm. once you have them type situations, it's like. I can't risk all my shit for you because if, let's say, I fall for some shit you did, are you walking my daughter to school? You know what I'm saying? Because like, I done been, I done been like, my man falls, son needs some cleats, I got him. He needs somebody mm-hmm. to come talk to him, I got him. He needs somebody to go to the game, I got him. How many niggas right. is moving like that? You know what I'm saying? Not a lot. I'm going to be real. There ain't a lot of niggas moving like that. That's what I'm That's saying. Right. So I understand completely wanting this success for all of us type of thing. Right. But you got to always keep in your mind that everybody ain't going to get it. Sure. Everybody can't go. So don't never you know, let it be like you had one or two people who fell by the wayside. It's like, well, damn, my goal was to get us all here. But my that was, again, my goal. My goal. His goal. You no, know what that's it. No, that, that's want, the goal for me. Like, yeah, that's the goal for it, me, but it's not the goal for you. Copy. Copy. You know, <laughs> I, can take you to, I can take you to the restaurant. I can't make you eat, bro. Like, yeah, I can you you know, always say you can lead a chicken in water, but you can't make a swallow. <laughs> yeah, like if you don't get it, you don't get it. If you get it, then we on it. Let's, let's make a move. Now, before we go, for them niggas who don't know you and don't know all your shit, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. this is one of them things, like I told you, even when you, you sent me this, like I had all these different people hitting me and shit, and I'm like, well, what the fuck happened? And mm-hmm. I told you, I said, I didn't even want to call you because I know niggas get Joe real quick as soon as they see, oh, he's showing love? Now I got to mm-hmm. show love. That's my man. I right, 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 right. So yeah. for me, it'd be like, I don't even really want to say nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you don't want to be in a wave of, oh, uh, yeah, now everybody's sending you, a, everybody is 100 under your videos. Everything's fire. Right. Now everything's right, everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? You get them type dudes. Mm-hmm, but for sure. at the same time, shine that light on yo. I ain't got I had different conversations with this one and that one and this one, and you know what I'm saying? To it ain't even about bragging about that shit. That shit ain't bragging. That shit is man, I'm working hard and this is the I'm working like, knowledge in no, my shit. Yeah. That's why I tell niggas like in the beginning, my rundown is that long because I'm working. 
You can mm-hmm. Google me, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They got pictures of me. They got pictures yeah. of me and all of that on my Google. You know what I'm saying? No shit. <laughs> like, no bad. I'm working hard enough to make that shit happen. So shine the light on your own situation as far as you know what I'm saying. Pat yourself on the back. Big yourself up. That's why I always say, nigga, you got, yeah. I'm throwing these little drinks out there. Promote your shit. Don't forget mm-hmm. to throw the name of that song out there because my shit, these expensive plugs, these motherfuckers For ain't sure. cheap. You know what I'm saying? Money. <laughs> no yeah. bad. That's what I'm right, saying. Right. Nigga, paid talent. Professional is mm-hmm. my fucking uh, bio say. But go yeah. ahead now. Throw out a couple of them before we, you know what I'm saying, close this joint out. To, just to let me uh, know. You can find me on damn near everything. Apple mm-hmm. Music, Spotify, title under Jose Blanco. Uh, Bad Decisions out right now. Hood Famous out right now. Melodies in the Trenches out right now. Uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram, Jose Blanco 2200. Twitter, Jose Blanco 2020. You know I'm saying I'm just active. I'm, 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 out, I'm outside. What's the name of the video, the last video you shot? Team Right. I just dropped Team Right uh, on all streaming platforms, too. Uh, I dropped Have Not. Uh, Team Right, I shot myself. Like I did the editing for that myself and all that, so I get into all that. And if niggas want some of that type of work, where they, you know what I'm saying? Tap in, Jose Blanco 2200. Tap in, DM me, and we're going to talk. Copy that. My fucking man, Joe. Like I said, man, we 25 years in on this shit. 25. You know oh, yeah. And niggas, I do, I do hooks and shit for y'all, too. Like, because a lot of y'all need, y'all need hooks and y'all need, like, choruses. Y'all need music. Tap in. I, I got a good price for y'all niggas, man. What's the Gmail or whatever? Where they found, where they tapping in with that one? At? Uh, Jose Blanco, 2200 at yahoo.com. Tap in. I, I'll write a song for you niggas, man. I'll get you a hit. Copy that. Yo, that was episode 87. Shouts out to my man, Jose Blanco. We. Yes, sir, Steve. Out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>